Hello and welcome to the Hunter Classic Beginner's Basic Basics. Uh, so essentially when you start, uh, I am assuming I have played for a while so I've got uh, minimal gear on at the moment. Uh, you can see my um, outfit isn't all that. It's just basic, basic black boots, basic pants, basic uh, jacket. Now the hat, it is forest camo. Um, I'm going to put it on. I'm not wearing any gloves as well. I'm going to put it on because if you're holding your hunter mate, you hit G, the letter G, you can basically go up to camo view and whatever situation you're in, like if you're in a field or in the woods, uh, according to the map, uh, it will show you, you can see my the, this black color, my jacket, my pants, my boots, they're black. But the uh, hat is kind of a gray. I'm going to run up here to the forest and see if it turns, I think, green. It should turn green if I'm in forested area. There it goes. It's green. And green means you're good to go. That's just the way I remember it. Good to go. So... I am just, I've got basic clothes on right now, nothing, this is just basic. Uh, as far as weapons go, I am bringing the 243. I think this is a free weapon in the game. I'm not sure if you get a shotgun as well. I think you get the single shot shotgun, so let's take that as well, single shot. Yeah, you get this one free too. So we're going to put that one over here, and we're going to take buckshot. The 243 and the single shot shotgun you get free shells so this is free this is your basic setup let's say you don't have a pistol holster yet uh, you may not have this uh, pouches yet you may only be able to just carry minimal gear so uh, I've thrown in a couple of things you might want to take I, I rarely use the camping supplies I walk to wherever I'm going uh, you will need this in case you fall down a cliff or get mauled by a bear or a pig or a hog. And then you can bring some scent spray or, you know, some of this um, uh, wind direction indicator. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think they have these binoculars anymore. Um, I think you always get the binoculars with the rangefinder. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, let's get started with basic. So we pull our gun out. It's in number one slot. It's doing R for reload. Not using the scope at the moment. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get uh, weapon two loaded as well. R to reload that one. We'll switch back to our weapon. Uh, we may even switch back to the hunter mate. So I'm going to walk. Uh, typically I don't run. Uh, I'll run if I'm in a hurry to get to some place and then to start hunting, but uh, I, don't, I don't typically run. I'll walk. You can auto walk with the letter Q. And, uh, and we should get a call from more than likely a female deer. There's lots of female deer down here on this side of the map. Let me show you where I'm at. I'm on Loggers Point, starting down here. Uh, this is the other one. Now you can switch to these campsites by using your camping supplies and I think it I think it costs two camping supplies so I typically I'll walk or, or run if I'm trying to get to a place so turn that back off or walk down I'm gonna run a little bit now you you can run I don't recommend it you know deer are gonna hear you and they're gonna bolt but just to get up here a little bit just save a little bit of time we're gonna get a call momentarily <laughs> usually momentarily from a deer. Uh, it is going to be female. Typically it's female. And it's really up to you if you want to shoot it. Now you don't get money for shooting um, females. You don't get money. So, But with free ammunition on the 243 and the shotgun, go ahead. Blast away at those females. What's going to happen is let me tab out what's going to happen oh yeah you can see here i'm on loggers point this is where i started and it'll tell you you know what's what's here you can see mule deer pheasant feral hog 
So if it says there's mule deer in the area, there is mule deer down here. Um, usually they're up in here. And it's so the coyotes are down here. It's just I've, I've hunted the map a lot, so I know. But uh, what I meant by just shooting animals, just females, uh, get your achievements up. Go to your homepage, click your name there, what have you, and click animals. And you can see, you know, like a total amount of animals that you killed, or let's find the mule deer. Here's the mule deer. I haven't shot a whole lot of mule deer. Uh, 157 mule deer. So, with free ammunition, go ahead and blast away at those females. Um, what what that'll essentially do is your skill level. Your skill level on species, as you track and hunt these female deer, it doesn't matter if it's male or female, as you track them, let me try to find uh, mule deer. Here we go. You can see that I'm on level 14. Uh, this is getting to level 15, so I'm halfway through level 14. I'll be at level 15 when I get to here. And then spotting those animals with your binoculars or getting close enough, getting them close enough to see or to, to spot. Uh, typically, it's within, what, maybe 80, 100. It, I think it just depends on the binoculars or the scope that you're using. So... Look at those two things. Get your tracking level up, your spotting level up, and you don't have to shoot anything right away. Just go out and walk around in the woods. Um, and then check your achievements. Uh, sorry, ch achievements and then animals. And that'll tell you how many animals you've uh, harvested. So white-tailed deer, I've shot more white-tailed deer than I have mule deer. And mule deer is basically the first animal we started hunting. And I, I shied away from it. I was like, I don't want to shoot, you know, the female deer. Uh, I wanted to play realistically and just shoot, you know, bucks. So, uh, you know, that's something to just keep in mind. If it's free ammo, which you get with the 243 and a shotgun, go ahead and blast away at those females. Uh, we haven't heard anything yet, but uh, now typically I will run on the road. Because if you get over here in the grass... A little louder. It's quieter with better gear. Uh, if you change to get uh, camo suited for forest or camo suited for field or winter or what's the other one? Fall. Fall. Camo. I am very surprised we haven't heard a call yet. Uh, typically I will get a call. I am in just basic gear, basic weapon. Now I have been running, so any deer within you know 120 meters. Uh, pay attention to your um, hunter mate in, in your hand. It doesn't tell you the range, but I believe the range is like 200 meters or 150 meters when you start seeing circles. Uh, we'll find us a track here in a moment and uh, and track an animal. Let's, let's do that. Let's try to find an animal track. Because basically that's what's going to happen until you find where these animals are. Oh, here's a mushroom. Mushrooms, they don't give you any points. It's just, you know, fun things to find. And again, don't run when you're when you're out here. Just run to about a hundred meters to where you want to start hunting, and then crouch walk. Just try to be quiet in the woods and listen. And sometimes it is hard to hear them walking when you're walking in the grass. You know, it gets louder. And if I started to run right now, same way with the jeeps. If you bought a jeep, you're just spooking the animals. And uh, pay attention to the way the leaves are blowing. If you see the leaves are blowing, when you're in the forest, that'll tell you what direction the wind is, is uh, carrying your scent. So it, the wind is blowing against my back. So right now, if I'm hunting this direction, animals up there are going to smell me. 
it's not a big deal like in real life. They, you know, they'll s smell you and then bolt. But um, you know, you could hunt realistically hunt that direction, go that way and start a hunt. Um, basic gear, and and you can hit you know with this. Once we start uh, hearing an animal, I'll call it in, and you can use either the buck collar. Okay, we got deer here. We got deer. I'm going to pull out the binoculars. And we've got a female deer right here. She's 80 meters away, and I was able to spot her, so that helps my spotting. Now, if you spot her again, it ain't going to do nothing. Remember, the wind is blowing right towards her. Okay, she's made a call, or some something has made a call. We need to track it. That's called a track, and you see one red dot. I'm just going to lay down because she's turned. She's going to come back this way. So you got one red dot at the top of your hunter mate. If I get her track again, that'll be two. If I get one more, that'll be three. And you really want to get three on one animal. That's always a good thing to do is get three tracks on an animal. Now, of course, the best way to shoot a deer is in the side, so you get double lung shot. But you can definitely go with the shotgun or a weapon like this. So, you know, lay down your your call from a certain spot. I'm going to call her in again with the bleat. Yeah, she may stop and question it. But let's go ahead and take her down. Fire again if you have to. Okay, she's down. She's down. Now, more than likely... I have spooked everything within 200 meters. That's to the edge of my screen on my hunter mate. So the edge of your screen, about 200 meters approximate. Uh, we're going to get this track right here and I'll show you the circle. And there is some blood trail here, so that's a, that's a good sign. Dark red blood like that means a heart or a lung shot. Okay, we got heart and lung. And here's my second red dot. Step forward a little bit and you get this one. Oh, you can see the little small circle there. That means it's close. It means they're within, you know, 50 meters. The tip of your arrow, the tip of the arrow is 50 meters. So your dot in the middle of the arrow is you. You can see the dot is now on the road, so I'm on the road. And the point the tip of that arrow is 50 meters. And typically you can hear animals walk when they get within 30, so you know they're really close. There's my three tracks on this animal. Here's the dotted line. That's out to 150 meters, I believe. So that's three of your arrows, you know, on top of each other there. Um, 150 meters. Once you've got three of these, it's okay to keep keep tracking, keep grabbing them, because that'll tell you what direction she's traveling. But here's a new one, so I'm going to grab this one. It's a rabbit. You can kind of see the rabbit. So you can look and see what it is without having to click it. That's a male rabbit, and he is out of range. He's gone. There's no dotted lines. There's no circle lines, solid line. So he's more than 200 meters away, definitely. But continue to grab as many tracks as you can every chance you get. Unless you're tracking a specific animal and you don't want to lose the track, track everything you can and you'll level up. So here it was. Uh, we've got a shoulder blade and a right lung. Now if I was able to shoot her from the side, of course, you know, it's a double lung shot. She would have probably dropped to get her in the heart. Learn your animals, you know, where their heart is, maybe on the shoulder, um, kind of low here on this one, just above the belly and right above the shoulder, right, right in the shoulder. 
So, let's say you take a trophy shot. Um, that's a free ammo. I get free ammo, so what that animal just did for me, I'm going to tab out, what that animal just did for me is it added one more, was that a mule deer or a white tail? I don't even remember. I didn't even notice. I, I think it was a white tail. It had big ears, didn't it? Uh, pay attention to the animal that you're shooting. Uh, if it was a white tail, then you're going to get one more white tail. If it was a mule deer, you're going to get one more mule deer. And, you know, the more mule deer, the way it used to be, you used to get uh, your hunter score would come from this right here. You'd get 25 points for, you know, doing that. But they changed all that. So I don't think the hunter score really matters now uh, here as much as it did a long time ago. There's still a, a you know, an, a logarithm, algorithm for, for figuring this out. Um, it might, you might get one point for one point. I don't know, for one animal now. I don't know. But there are achievements on Steam. 250 pheasants, 250 roe deer. You can see I need, I need two more roe deer to get 100. So that'll be an achievement for me, and two more roe deer. And then all the achievements on Steam are 250. So once you get 250 animals, 250 animals, 250 whitetail, I've already got that one. Uh, so at the moment, 250 goose. At the moment, I'm trying to get 100 of all animals. 100 of all animals. And the very last animal that was added, very hard for me to hunt, is the lynx. I've only gotten three. I've only shot three Eurasian lynx. And they've been out for a while. They've been out for a year. So, you know, kind of, if, if you're a new member and your uh, weapons, you get the free ammo, go ahead and shoot those female. It, it isn't going to hurt you. Uh, it's, it'll actually help you in the long run. You'll uh, get your hunter score up. Um, track everything you can. Now, since I've already got this one rabbit track, occasionally, if I'm not into a mission or something, I'll go ahead and track this animal. See, he's going that way, so I know his next track is going to be there. But also, his track will be behind him. So, typically, if I'm heading this direction, I'll go backwards. I want to find this next blue animal okay or next blue track to that animal it may be red you can change that in your options and, uh, just hit your map button go into options and change the color I, I like to use blue blue is hard to see on the snow map okay I've got his second one I've got two I want to go one more now imagine grabbing these uh, blue dots, the full cone as points. And it takes, let's say it takes a thousand points to get you a skill level built up. The first three tracks you get are worth 250. So that was 250, another 250, and then another 250. That's three. That gives you a thousand. Anything after that on the same animal just gives you one point you know just gives you one point so don't don't stay on it go to the next animal once you get three you're good let's just say I, I have no idea what the would know what the numbers are I'm just saying if you if you need a thousand points the first three are the most important grab three and then move on and you we might pick this rabbit up later he might be up here on the hill somewhere and you'll see a you'll see a solid blue dome. You know that that rabbit has been up here. Here's another track, real quick. We're going to grab this one. Uh, you can kind of squat down and look. And that's a deer. Could be a pig though. I don't know. Okay, it's a mule deer, and it is a buck. It is a male. Now you won't know that at the beginning because your skill level of tracking isn't isn't great. So track every animal you can. And you will find this animal. If you track it this direction, he will call out. If you haven't spooked it. Uh oh, I picked up another one. So we got a couple of brothers running together. This says male. So this is a couple of brothers. They're walking together. Uh, you'll be able to distinguish the weight. Okay, there's the male call. 
and he is 200 meters away that direction. You can go ahead and hit the map and just kind of guess 200 meters. What is that? Out there? Oh, I need to go to the right just a bit. <clears throat> and then that way you know when you get closer and closer. Now, I've got a... I've got one in the bank. I call it one dot in the bank. I'm going to get this next solid blue. Well red. I'm going to get this solid blue one. That's two in the bank. Two, two red dots. I don't want to spook him, so you know I'm getting closer and closer to him, so you want to go into crouch mode. But what you could do now, I'm not going to pick this one up. I'm going to look for that other solid blue one. And if you don't see it, you know, that's, that's fine. Go on and start picking up your new tracks. Let's go ahead and try to call this animal in with the bleak. I'm just, I'm just going to see if I can get a response from him again. Sometimes they will answer. And that doesn't mean just because he called out and he's there. There could be three animals between you and him. So just be careful. You know, you can use your binoculars to spot. You're not going to see him right away. They, they blend in really good. He didn't answer my call like I hoped he would. So I'm going to bleed again. It doesn't matter whether you bleed or call with a grunt. It's the same effect. Now I've walked probably about 60 or 70 meters, so I'm expecting him, if he walked this way, for him to be close. He could be on the other side of this hill. I wouldn't even know it. And he was definitely, you know, 200 meters away from where I shot my first bullet. So, if there were any deer close by, they would have ran 120, maybe. Okay, we got a female over there. She's calling. She's 200 meters away, but we were on top of this guy. We're going to, he may just be quiet. He may be. He may be just be a big animal. He may not answer your call. Well, some callers, they will get a response. That's what they're made for. They're made to get a response. But this caller... Oh, yep, there he is. I see him. Just got his head over the... He's right here. He's coming this direction. You'll see him momentarily. He's just... Right here he comes. Okay. So we're going to check our distance to that tree is 40 meters. And what you can do is you can... You can set up the call here and then scoot to the right about 30 meters. Because this is a good clearing. And you'll be up on a, on a hill here. I know you know how to hunt, so <clears throat> it's just the game mechanics. Getting used to what it is they actually you know, you're actually doing. Now at this moment, don't forget you have a female behind you. She may come up and startle you. We're gonna go ahead and reload our weapon here. We've got it. We're gonna take a, take him with the 243. This is free ammo. Of course, we're gonna get money for this one. Now we've made a call. We don't have to continue. We don't have to continue calling, but we can just to make sure he's staying interested. And it doesn't matter. A lot of a lot of players, I think, they want to call the buck in, so they use the buck call. They want to call a female, and so they doesn't matter. You just use a deer bleed or a deer call. You don't have to buy both. Okay, I got sound coming.
from the front. Now I am in basic gear. Basic gear. Here's our animal. We're just going to go ahead and pop him. Fire again if you have to. I'm pretty sure that was a pretty good hit. Probably got him in one lung. <sighs> now realistically, he's you know he's going to run to water probably. <laughs> realistically, and lay down in the mud, try to pack that hole. <laughs> But this game, he's just going to bolt, you know, he's going to run away from the shot in a random direction. Just get your tracking built up so that the... Okay, that's, that's some red blood, but it was just a body shot, so this was a bad shot on him. Of course, I didn't have the scope. I should have went with the shotgun. And this is a small weapon, 243 to be using on bucks. So I am going to hunt this one down. I've got two in the bank. You can see the two red dots. Pick up the third one. And I'm good. I've got that animal tracked for the most points I can get from it. Now I'm just going to grab one point, one point, as I track him down. Now, don't run after him right away because they are going to run, 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 and bolt. But hopefully we can catch up with him. I'm going to leave the video here. I'll bring you back when I catch up with him.